What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over the seven automated bidding strategies in Google Ads that you can apply to your campaigns. So when you're creating a brand new Google Ads campaign, one of the major factors that is going to go into your overall campaign performance is going to be the bidding strategy that you use. And keep in mind, you can use a bidding strategy when you initially launch a campaign and you can always change them over time. So let's come in here to my search campaign and I'm currently using what's called a portfolio bidding strategy. So it's all managed. If we come up here through tools and settings under shared library, it's managed in this bid strategies page, which I will go through in a minute. Now, if we come over to our campaign, we come down to our campaign settings. What you're going to see as we scroll down here is bidding. So under bidding, this is where we can adjust our bidding strategy. So when you click on change bid strategy here and we click on the drop down, you're going to see automated bid strategies. And right here, it's going to say maximize clicks, maximize conversions, maximize conversion value and target impression share. So it's showing four different automated bid strategies and then one manual bid strategy, manual CPC. So the seven different automated bid strategies to look at a list of them is maximize conversions, maximize conversion value, maximize clicks, target CPA, which stands for cost per acquisition, target ROAS, target return on ad spend, enhanced CPC, which is essentially combining your manual bid strategies with an automated bid strategy, and then target impression share. Now these are listed in no particular order, but I'm gonna go through each one of them today and then go through some of the best practices depending on the types of conversions you have and the type of campaign that you're running. So let's come back over to Google Ads and I think the easiest way to go through the bid strategies is to just go to the portfolio bid strategies. But if you wanna change your bid strategy quickly and easily for a campaign, just go to settings here, go to bidding and when you come to the drop down, let's just say for example, you click on maximize conversions. Now, if you do maximize conversions and you do not set a target cost per action, then it's going to use the maximize conversions bid strategy, which is the goal is to get the most conversions for your budget. Now, what you can do is maximize conversions and set a target cost per action. And now we're using the target CPA bid strategy. So essentially, all you're saying is I would like to drive conversions at a certain cost. So depending on how valuable a conversion is for your business, that is what is going to guide how you set your target CPA bid. So if, for example, a conversion is worth $100 for my business, you wouldn't want to set your target CPA at $100 because that means you would essentially be breaking even and ultimately you'd probably be losing money when you factor in every other business expense that you have. So what you want to do when you have a conversion that's worth $100 for your business is you want to get your target CPA as low as possible. So let's just say, for example, we started at $30. That means what you're trying to do is drive every single conversion for your business at $30 or less. So on average, you want to drive conversions at $30 or less when you set a target CPA. Now, this is better if you're driving leads and every single conversion has the same exact value. If your conversions actually have different values, for example, if you have an e-commerce website and people are purchasing different products from you, that is where you would want to use the maximized conversion value. So with maximized conversion value, what you're trying to do is actually pull in the value of your conversions. So when you're setting up conversion tracking, Google Ads is going to actually be able to see a value attached to each conversion. So maybe you make an $80 sale, maybe you have a $150 sale, maybe you have a $30 sale, maybe you have a $250 sale. All of that value is going to come into your conversion tracking. Now what you can do is rather than just saying maximize conversion value is you can set a target return on ad spend. And now you're using the target ROAS bidding strategy. So for this campaign that I've been running, and this is just a sample campaign. I haven't spent a ton of money behind this campaign. I used it in the past for a Google ads tutorial, but I'm going to completely update this campaign and create a brand new campaign and go through each individual step to make sure that we're getting the most out of our Google ads search campaigns. But for right now, we'll just use this example campaign that I've been running. I have it as a dollar per day. So obviously I'm not spending a lot of money on this campaign at all. But you can see set a target return on ad spend they're recommending a target roas of 29 percent now every single conversion is worth one dollar for this individual campaign so basically what they're saying is you're not really driving ideal results for this campaign if my return on ad spend is 29 percent that means for every 100 dollars that i spend on this campaign i'm returning 29 dollars in revenue so clearly this would not be considered a successful campaign what you generally want your target return on ad spend to be is at least 200% or higher. Because when you're factoring in 
all of the different costs related to your products and your business and everything like that, you need a higher return on ad spend than your cost of goods sold and every other cost that is associated with your business. So if your target return on ad spend is 200%, that is saying every $100 you spend, you're returning $200 in revenue to your business. Now, obviously that's not profit, that is going to be revenue, especially when you're pulling in from an e-commerce website. If somebody's purchasing something from you for $250, that is obviously not all profit to your business. So usually with target return on ad spend, 200% would be the bare minimum you're trying to go for. You definitely want it to be over 100%. It really depends on your overall business goals and you can also factor in your customer lifetime value as well because if you're acquiring new customers and you generally have repeat customers, then it may be worth having a lower target return on ad spend for these conversions that are coming through Google Ads. So target return on ad spend, you generally want it to be at least 300% or higher. The higher you can go, obviously, the more money your business is making. Now we're gonna come up here to tools and settings and I'm gonna go under shared library to bid strategies and we're gonna click on continue. We're not gonna save any of our changes. And I wanna show you how I really like to manage my bid strategies. So if we click on the plus sign here, these are going to be all of the different automated bid strategies that I'm gonna go through. And then I will go back to the campaign and show you how easy it is to set up enhanced CPC. It's as simple as switching your bid strategy to manual CPC and clicking a box that says enable enhanced CPC to drive more conversions. So target CPA sets bids to get the most conversions possible while reaching your average cost per acquisition goal. Target return on ad spend sets bids to help you get the most conversion value while maintaining your target return on ad spend. Maximize clicks sets bids to get the most clicks within your budget. So if your goal is just website traffic or clicks to your website, then maximize clicks is the bid strategy you can try to use. Maximize conversions sets bids to get the most conversions possible within your budget. Maximize conversion value sets bids to get the most conversion value as possible within your budget and target impression share automatically sets your bids to increase your ads chances of appearing in the search page area you select. So target CPA, very simple, you name your bid strategy, you can apply it to any of your campaigns. So choose a campaign here that you want to apply this bid strategy to. And then all you need to do is set your target CPA. They may give you a recommended target CPA if you've been running campaigns already, but let's just say my target CPA is $20. So let's just say every conversion is worth $100 for my business, so I wanna drive conversions at $20 a piece. Now, one of the things that you can do is use a shared budget with this portfolio bid strategy and actually share budget across multiple campaigns. For this, I'm just gonna uncheck it. Let's just say I just wanna apply it to my search campaign. So we'll say, we'll apply it to our search campaign here, click on done. Now, one thing I wanna show you about using portfolio bid strategies that I really like is under advanced options here, you can actually set minimum bid limits and maximum bid limits. So I could say, I wanna make sure I'm bidding at least 10 cents. Now, a lot of times I won't set minimum bid limits at all, so you don't need to set a minimum bid limit. But a lot of times if I'm really trying to control costs and depending on how much budget I have for whatever campaign that I'm running, maximum bid limits can be very useful to make sure that Google Ads isn't going out and bidding way too high to drive conversions back to your website. So what you can do is start by using a target CPA bidding strategy or a maximized conversions bidding strategy. Let your campaign run for several weeks, maybe keep your budget slightly lower than you wanna spend initially, and then increase your budget as you start to see results. Start to see how much your average cost per click is. It's really going to vary depending on what types of keywords you're targeting. And then what you could always do is say, you know what, I wanna make sure that I'm driving clicks at less than a dollar per click. So my maximum bid limit I'm gonna set here is $1. So I don't wanna bid any higher than $1 in any single auction because I'm trying to drive as many conversions as possible. And what you may find is by driving more clicks to your website, it's actually going to help increase your overall conversion rate, your cost per conversion, and ultimately your return on ad spend. So I frequently set bid limits, especially when you have limitations for how much you're able to spend. Now for high budget clients who are trying to let's say spend thousands of dollars per day, I would not recommend setting a maximum bid limit. You can always set one over time as you start to see how much your costs are and if you wanna drive your cost per click down slightly. So let's click on cancel, that's target CPA. You set how much you wanna pay for every individual conversion and then you can also set maximum bid limits for every single click that you're driving from your campaign. So we'll click on cancel, we'll click on the plus sign here. 
target return on ad spend very similar except all you're doing is rather than going for each individual conversion you're actually f more focused on revenue which is what you should be doing if you are able to actually tie in revenue to your campaigns now if you're for example promoting a free trial or something like that you may not be able to tie revenue to that campaign but obviously if you're selling products if you're selling a course whatever it is that you may be selling, you can always use target return on ad spend. And let's just say I wanna set my target return on ad spend. Maybe we'll start it at 250%. And again, you can use a shared budget here. If we click on advanced options, same thing. You can do minimum bid limit, maximum bid limit. Select your campaigns. So all you need to do is select the campaign from the list. And then once you click on save, that's actually going to apply this portfolio bid strategy to your campaign. The reason why I like using portfolio bid strategies is you could actually say, let me try, click on cancel here, click on the plus sign, let me try maximize conversions. We're gonna run this for three weeks and see how our campaign performs over the course of that three weeks. You could actually see how your bid strategies are performing against each other. So it's a really important aspect to actually test your campaigns to see how certain bid strategies are performing, especially if you're applying, let's say a target CPA to my search campaign. Maybe I'm using enhanced CPC on my search campaign. Maybe I try maximize conversions on my search campaign. So if you're applying all of these to the same campaigns, you can look at your all-time results and see, okay, target CPA is the best performing bid strategy for us. So that's the one that we are going to continue to use. Now the easiest Google ads bid strategy to explain is maximize clicks. Cause that's just essentially let's maximize the amount of website traffic that we're getting from our Google ads campaign using our budget. So if your budget is $25 a day, if your budget's $500 a day, Google Ads is going to try to use that money to drive as many clicks as possible to your website. I would not really recommend using maximized clicks. I would always recommend using conversion tracking and using one of these other smart bidding strategies. For example, we click on the plus sign, target CPA, target return on ad spend, conversions or conversion value, because what that is doing is telling Google Ads, I want you to drive the best possible results within my budget. Now you can test other bidding strategies and there's no downside to testing bidding strategies. Even if your performance dips for a week or two, if you're running your campaign for the entire year, doing testing for a couple of weeks at a time is not gonna be the end of the world and it will only help you in the long run. So you should always be testing different bid strategies. So these first five should make sense at this point and how to set them up and how you should use them depending on what your goals are. Now target impression share, this is strictly for advertisers that wanna make sure that their ads are appearing for certain keywords. So maybe you've identified these five main keywords that you want your ad to appear for, and you say, I want an impression share of at least 80%. I wanna make sure I'm at the top of the results page. So the top of the results page is actually the top portion of advertisements. The absolute top is that very first position. Anywhere on the results page means your ad could appear at the top of the results page, it could appear at the bottom of the results page. So a lot of times what advertisers will do is say, I wanna make sure my ad is appearing at the top of the results page, I wanna set an 80% impression share, and then let's just say my maximum CPC bid limit. So this really depends on what types of keywords you're targeting, but let's say my maximum CPC bid limit is $10. So I'm willing to spend $10 per click to my website, and I wanna make sure that I am appearing at the top of the search results every single time that people are searching these keywords at least eight out of 10 times. So you can use shared budgets with this as well and name it, select your campaign, and that is target impression share. So this is more popular for branded campaigns or for advertisers who really wanna dominate specific keywords. I would not recommend it for smaller advertisers. It's definitely for larger advertisers who are spending more money who may say, let's take these keywords out of our main search campaign because we wanna make sure we're appearing at the very top of the search results or at least at the top of the results page, let's say 80% of the time when people are searching these keywords because it may be a very competitive industry, maybe you're trying to dominate your competitors specifically through Google Ads and other advertising channels. So that's where target impression share can be very useful. Now let's finish this video off by going over enhanced CPC. We're gonna come back here. We are going to come right here to our settings. We're in our bidding. And to use Enhanced CPC, all you have to do is change your bid strategy. We click on the drop down, and you're gonna choose Manual CPC under the Manual Bid Strategies. And then it's automatically gonna check Help Increase Conversions with Enhanced CPC, Optimize for Conversions, Optimize for Conversion Value. 
Now Google Ads tells us as soon as we switch to this, setting bids manually may result in lower performance. Use smart bidding to help improve results by using more signals to optimize your bids. So let's just say I'm bidding $1 for every individual keyword. With enhanced CPC, what Google Ads is going to do is they're going to bid higher or lower for specific keywords, depending on how likely those keywords are to convert. So they are going to use all the historical data from our campaign, basically every signal that they could possibly use to say, we need to increase this bid because this person is searching this keyword and they're going to be more likely to convert on this website because of the signal that they've given us. Or they may say, we need to decrease the bid because we think this person is not going to convert when they search this keyword and visit this website. So I generally don't ever use enhanced CPC back when they didn't have target CPA and maximize conversions and all these other automated bid strategies. I did use enhanced CPC. However, I would highly recommend using one of these automated bid strategies here. And you can also set a target cost per action. And I would also recommend going to tools and settings and setting your portfolio bid strategy directly through this bid strategies page because then you can actually monitor performance much easier and you can also set bid limits if you want to so those are automated bid strategies here is the list of the seven automated bidding strategies now target impression share target ROAS target CPA maximize clicks conversion value and conversions are all just completely automated bidding strategies enhanced CPC allows you to combine manual bidding with automated bidding However, since you can set bid limits with these other automated bidding strategies, I don't really ever see a reason to use enhanced CPC. It may be useful for branded campaigns or for certain keywords, but to me, if you're running a very large campaign and you're targeting all sorts of keywords, allow Google Ads to automate your bids because they are going to be able to adjust your bids based on a variety of signals and based on all the data they have about your campaign, your conversion rate, which keywords are the most likely to convert, which landing pages are the most likely to convert, which ads are the most likely to convert. So allow Google ads to do the heavy lifting for you and use one of these automated bidding strategies. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.